it's our birthday actually, actually it's tomorrow <laughs> It's the 25th of September. We'll just clear that up, but... We will be 26 on the 25th. Yes, 26 on the 25th. Yes, last year was our golden birthday because we were 25 on the 25th, but this video is going to be all about our birthday. Birthday, birthday, birthdays. Birthday girls. So, I'll say it's funny because I'll be like, my birthday. And then I'm always like, no, no, no. No, our, our birthday. birthday, yes. I always feel funny when I say, it's my birthday. It's our birthday. Don't get down there in the swampy part of the pond. I know, I was like trying to take a dive. So Corey, how do you how do you think you feel about like saying our birthday? Like what do you think about it's always been our birthday, sharing a birthday? I like sharing a birthday. I mean, it's all I've ever known. That's just what I'm used to, but I like sharing a birthday. And if I talk about my birthday, I can never say like my birthday. I'm always like our birthday. And like, if I'm talking about, oh, I need to get Katie something, I'll be like, well, I'm gonna get Katie something for our birthday. And it's just always our birthday because it is. Uh, and it's, that's something really special to share a birthday with someone else. Another thing that's funny about birthdays is the older you get, you're like, wait a second, this is not, I don't like this. Every year I'm getting older. So I've kind of realized that maybe up until every birthday until you're like 25 is like, oh, exciting birthday. You're like, oh, I can't wait to be 16. I can't wait to be 18. I'm going to be 20. I'm going to be 25. And I'm like, wait a second. Now I'm on the going down the back side of my 20s and getting ever closer to 30, which I know is still young. But still, I'm like, well, all right. Yeah, it's, it's another birthday this year, which obviously so, so glad to have another another year around the sun. Praise God. But. I think I'm totally with you. It's like, this is probably the first birthday. I have three things to say. Number one, this is the first birthday that it's like, no, I can't believe I'm going to be 26 years old. What happened? Like, what am I doing? You start by society standards, you start feeling the pressure of like, I'm in my twenties. Like, what am I doing? I don't know what I mean by that. But if I can remember all the things I had to say, the second thing is I do think that society leads you to believe like, Oh, you're only good when you're young. By the time you're 50, you're just like old and spent, and you're just like spent the rest so of your time true. just downhill. I think that it should be more celebrated like every year, every decade, every series, like your 40s, your 50s. Everything has something really special about it, and everything should be celebrated. So we should always be like positive and uh, like looking forward. Like I'm excited to go into my 30s, into my 40s. I'm excited to be halfway through 20 because there's always something really special about each age and each time in our life. So I really think that that should be celebrated. And if it was and uh, America wasn't uh, like morbidly obsessed with this idea of youth, I think we wouldn't dread birthdays probably. I don't know what the next thing I was going to say was, but it probably was something along the lines of like, it is gratitude. Like I'm still alive. I feel good. I got another birthday and that's something that I should be grateful for. So. Yeah. I can say for sure, talking about this pond here, if this is my pond, I'd take all my old Christmas trees. We like to do live Christmas trees now. Put them in this pond and give the fish somewhere to hide. Oh, yeah. Somewhere to live in. I think they would appreciate that. People do that at the lake. It's like a thing. Every year people will oh, go yeah. and put their Christmas trees in the lake. And it's nice. that They degrade anyway. And it gives a place for the, for the fish to go. But And then we, if you know where you dump them, you can go back to where you dumped it and be like, this is a good place to fish. You need to put like a, a, a boy a boy yeah a right, thing on your christmas tree mark. this is where this is all this my, is, my, let me fence in this water here this is where i'm yeah, going to fish i can fish here because i sunk my christmas tree okay back to the birthday stuff though uh we growing up have never necessarily done anything super like fancy or crazy for our birthday no um but of course mom and dad when we were, when we were younger would have us a party we had a party one time one year at fun mm -hmm. world Yes, that was the best. Uh, we had a surprise 16th birthday party. That was really fun. That was really sweet. They had some of our um, friends come over. They had, I didn't think we were going to do anything until we were sitting in the living room after school when I heard footsteps on the porch and I look and here comes four or five of our friends and I was, I was really surprised. It was really sweet. I liked that. And then last year, last year on September 25th, that was the day that Austin, those were little frogs. I seen them go in the pond. Cool. They jumped in. They were hatched up in this uh, swampy thick stuff. There's babies. There's babies, y'all. They're jumping into the water. You can see the water moving. Those are tadpoles. Those are the but ones they that were are actually grown here. bigger. Little... They were grown frogs. Yeah, they yeah. were like frogs that jumped in there. Well, that's really positive. That's a sign that this pond is very healthy. Oh, hi, friends. 
This is a very healthy pond with all this life and activity. That's a really So like I was saying, last year on September 25th was actually the day that Austin moved into our house. Because I remember I, we couldn't be there, I couldn't be there that day to help him move in because we had a gig that we were playing at like an hour plus away. And so he was moving in. That is really hard to believe that he has been moved in a year. Gosh, I know. Time goes so fast. It really does. And I think for me, birthdays, like it was always other people's birthdays were fun. To, like being a part of somebody else's birthday celebration, their presents and their surprise and all that. I think that was always funner than my own birthday because I always thought about it. I'm like, well, this could have been my birthday because this time, this on this day last year, I'm already a year older. Or I'd be like in January. I'm like, last January, I'm already a year older I than I was saying. from before. I'm like, any day could be my birthday. Every day is a birthday. Every day that you're alive once you're past the the year of one year old like once you're no longer under the age of one years old then every day could be you know yeah like on every day you're like i'm older on this day than i was this time last year so yeah speaking of birthday presents what did you get me for my birthday you can't trick me like that for our birthday i got corey something that i think that she'll like and i had nick help me out and i helped nick out he said i want to get you guys something for your birthday that's and so see sweet. that's also a thing it's like it was never just let me pick this up you got a rock no it's just a piece of glass i thought was cool cool um, it was never like all the all the friends and all that kind of stuff they would get us if they were my friend they wouldn't just get me something they'd get Corey something so it was always like like austin will get me something for my birthday probably. yes and he doesn't have to do that but it's like there being two of us even if the person was only going to get, like, Nick wouldn't say, I'm just going to get you something. He's like, I'm going to get your sister something, too. It's just, so help me pick something out for her. So, you will yes. love what he got you. That is very sweet. I hope you like what I got you. I've been excited to give it to you. Uh, another memory that I can think back about. This really wasn't our birthday, though. Uh, I don't know when this was for, but it, you know, it was because we were twins. So, it makes sense. We had a teacher for social studies, and one time there was cupcakes, and I never really liked, like, store-bought cupcakes or cake, just to be... spoiled with Mama's cooking. Yeah, just to be honest, we got spoiled with her cooking, and if it was store-bought, I didn't like it. But they had cupcakes, and they made me and Katie share a cupcake. They always did stuff like that. You're twins, so you can you just, can just share, share. I'm like, like but we're fair. two people. Two and stomachs. Else got a cupcake, yeah. Well, you can share. Well, it's there's not enough seats in here, so y'all both can sit in the same seat. Well, there's... Let's they sit did, down. It's hot. They did stuff like that all the time. Yeah. The middle, which is whatever. Uh, it's no big travesty or nothing, but... So, this year for our birthday, we're just gonna chill out with some family. I'll come over. I mean, Austin and I'll go over to Mom and Dad's, and she was asking us what kind of dessert we wanted, so I'm assuming she'll be cooking something tasty. Well, she asked me, and I told her what I wanted. What did you tell her you wanted? I told her that like anything she cooked was good and I like the cobblers that she made. You know what, when she asked me this morning, she caught me off guard. She told me, she said, I didn't, you didn't send me anything that you wanted for your birthday. I sent her something. I told her, I said, I don't want anything, mama. I don't want, I have no wants. I'm just happy. I don't feel like, I just never even told you what I wanted because I don't want anything. I'm just so blessed and so happy. There's nothing I need. But I told her, however, you, if you want to make me a dessert for my birthday, then that's what I want. So she pumpkin asked me what roll. I wanted. I said, pumpkin roll. She said, that's easy. I can do that. And I something like that, I'm like, just do it like my favorite meal and dessert. I'm like, that's a huge gift. Like, that's oh, yeah. all I could want. And I also told mom, because uh, I borrowed from the bank of mom and daddy to buy my car. So I was like, well, you can just take a little bit off of what I owe you for <laughs> my birthday. Funny. I like that. Um, I was with her this morning. We were at the grocery store, and she brought she bought the cream cheese Ooh. for the pumpkin roll. And I was like, oh, yeah. I love pumpkin roll. With all of us being in the house, that pumpkin roll, it'll be a one setting, and the whole log will be gone. Yeah. You Let's see that bird, like, way in the distance? It's a hawk. He's it's a really, big bird. It's really pretty. He's white. 
he is. That's how you can tell it's a hawk because it's brown and white. And the shape of their wings is different. And he's, their little tail feathers, tail wings. He's looking for something to eat. He's hungry. What I want for my birthday is that hawk to just fly right over here and, and, and get up in my camera and let me see him. I'll give him some pumpkin roll. I don't think that's going to... I don't think he would bet like pumpkin you, bet roll. Bet you he'd eat it, though. Comment below if you think the hawk would eat pumpkin roll. This year, our birthday falls on a Sunday. Last year, it fell on a Saturday. I'm excited that we're all going to be together. Yeah, that's the best thing about it. That's that's what I'm the most looking forward to. And giving you your gift. I hope that you like it. I'm excited about giving you your present. And um, just all of us getting to spend time together. I feel like we're hardly ever together anymore. And so I'm like, Nick and all of us will be together. And I think that that'll be... That'll be the fun thing. The older I get, like, that's all I want. I just want us all to be together and us all to be happy. And that's pretty much the best gift that I could receive is that we're all going to end up being here. And being here. I thought we might be in Canton, all of us. But it turns out we'll be here, which is, it'll, we'll go to Canton another time. I think that this will be fun, too. Yeah, that'll be nice for us to just all get to be together. And maybe Sunday evening after we eat and we're full, we could come walk around the pond. Yeah, for fun. And yeah. see what lives in it. There's always fun little critters that are in the pond. Oh, yeah. Well, all right, then. We're going to have to sign off here. I need to go to the post office. Yeah, I need to go to the post office, too. I think birthdays are a gift. And it's something to be celebrated. And on birthdays, and truth be told, who ought to be celebrated is your mama. Yeah. And God for giving you another trip around the sun. That's right. So I thank mama for bringing us here and taking care of us and doing her job oh yeah and that uh, here i am alive and healthy and happy and there's just really a lot to be said for that the older you get to you realize oh no i'm not invincible when you're like 16 you're like i can do anything and then i'm like isn't it funny what a short 10 years will do i'm like no no you realize anything could happen so you i'm thankful for every single day here i am i woke up having a good day oh yeah and comment below if you think that we look 26 because <laughs> we get people tell us all the time you look like you're in high school like, well, people do tell us that all the time and which I, is good to look yeah younger people than you are like you don't look old enough i'm like i am i'll show you my driver's license yeah so we is 26 at precisely 101 p.m on the 25th i will be 26 and at 103 p.m. you will be 26 yes two minutes apart we were c-section babies they pulled me out first and then they pulled you out yes but i'd have been true. born first anyway because i was sitting on the bottom all right we got to go to the post office so we got to get off here but this is just a little talk about our birthday you got a bug that fell on you there and our birthday will be tomorrow glad to be together thank you always for watching Oh, I got another bug. I gotta go. Whoa. <laughs> God bless you guys. We'll see you on the next one.